Welcome all of you, True Seekers and Risk Takers, to the podcast Life to Butterfield. Today we're going to talk about Grandmother Spy. Her name is Melita Norwood. But before we start digging deep into this topic, I'd like to share something with you from my personal working experience in intelligence sector. It is not surprising that we in intelligence sector used to be love people who join uh, to become the informants for intelligence agencies based on their patriotism, uh, love for the cause, ideology, and similar things which we are not always seeing in the movies. Usually when we see in the movies we depicting, depicted in Hollywood movies are the spies who works for the money, drugs, all because the intelligence sector or particularly police love to blackmail them. This is most unreliable, unreliable agents or informants. Um, I do remember when I started my career in the intelligence sector, I got this book from the very, very... Uh, very well-known um, academic. His name is Dushko Modli. I'm not sure he's still on this planet Earth. Maybe he is. If he is, good luck to him. If not, uh, I don't know how to express my gratitude for being his student. And he wrote this book, Informants. This is the booklet. This booklet was being printed, I'll tell you when, 1993, right? And this booklet today, even today, represents the Bible. Why is that? Because when you have the informants, it's very interesting that you have the two ways creating the spies, informants, operatives, whatever you want to call them. It's the way how you recruit them or how you gain access to informants. And the second part it is how do you manage them and when you stop to manage them. But today, Melita Norwood, she's a grandmother spy. She gave the Soviets access to all British nuclear secrets. And she never been prosecuted. You know why? Because by the time the British intelligence sector find out who truly she is, she was very, very old, and they realized that prosecuting her will do nothing good, actually will do harm. So, Melita Norwood, a grandmother who spy for the Soviets. So, what we know about Melita Norwood? We know she was a grandmother when she was arrested, but Stalin had access to more information about development of British nuclear weapon thanks to Melita Norwood than the majority of British government officials. Nobody in the South East London community could have predicted that their neighbor, the endearing grandmother Melita Norwood, would turn out to be one of the most significant Soviet spies in Britain. Now, as I say, don't just reflect your knowledge about espionage on a way how it's depicted in Hollywood movies. Sometimes those most cutest ladies, most cutest people, and most least dangerous are the most little. After getting married, Melita Sidis changed her last name to Norwood. She was devoted communist since she was a young kid, thanks to socialist-leaning parents. She also covertly joined the British Communist Party in the 1930s. She obtained employment at the British Non-Ferrous Metal Research Association, which was creating British nuclear technology as a what? As a secretary around the same period. The Soviets considered this to be a fantastic chance. But how did Soviets actually realize that this is a fantastic chance? Let me explain to you something more uh, behind the scene. When you join to some party, right? And today when you join to some groups online or, you know, going on social media, somebody has the access. When you join to the cause as a, in 1930s, a Soviet, Soviet, uh, Soviet uh, Communist Party or, you know, the Soviet Communist Party, but in England, of course, that those details being given to the people in Moscow. And guess, surprise, surprise. Oh, she works there. We know they're making the nuclear technology She's a secretary. Let's go ask her to spy for us. Then she becomes the fantastic chance for her to become the spy. Melita was hired by the Soviet intelligence agency in 1937 as she started working on the goals of the global revolution. Norwood had direct access to every aspect of the British tube alloys, that's a nuclear program. G.L. Bailey, its boss, served on the organization advisory council. 
Melita had access to both of Bailey's safes, one in his London home and one in his workplace, because they had such high regard for her. Norwo took pictures and gave the Soviet triathletes scientific reports, analysis, and list goes on. Can you imagine in those time in 1930s getting the taking the picture? It's not like you take the mobile phone today. You really had uh, smaller miniature cameras developed only for the spies, but yet it's a uh, heavy, it's a uh, clunky, it's noisy. They benefited greatly. I mean, the Russians from this knowledge as they created their own nuclear devices. Melita Norwood, she was also known as an agent Hall. She was highly prized in USSR. A disciplined, a dedicated agent who does everything in her power to assist Soviet intelligence, who was how one person described her. Norwood's real identity was suspected by MI5 counterintelligence services in 1945 and 65, but neither time was supported by sufficient evidence or facts. As a result, Norwood discreetly left her position at the British Association for Search of non ferocious Metals and the Soviet Secrets in 1972. Only 20 years later, when former KGB agent Vasil Mitrokin escaped to Britain and discovered a vast amount of files on Soviet agents, including Melita Norwood, did the disclosure come to light. Due to her old age, Agent Hall was neither detained nor interrogated. The British government determined that imprisoning the spy granny would be ineffective and allowed Miss Nuru to remain in peace at her backslide home. Melita Nuru passed away in 2005 and never looked back on her actions. She had more obligations to Soviet Union, so she agreed to work for them. Even though the Soviet offered her a covered lifelong pension, she politely accepted the illustrious order of the Red Banner instead. She said, I wasn't interested in money. I had no interest in the part. I wish it for the Western and Russian equality, Miss Norwood stated. That made her very, very deadly female spy in Cold War. Thank you for watching. Like the button. Feel, feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment. And if you have the more details about Miss Norwood, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Thank you.